Scratching out a living in the dry season is hard on the dinosaurs, big and little. When times are tough and life is under stress, anything can happen. Finding water is critical for Dryosaurus. Her offspring are less than a year old. They've never experienced a drought. Today is a lesson in survival. They don't know they're being watched. Ceratosaurus is the last of its kind, but more dangerous than ever. Dryosaurus is too small to defend her brood against a hungry predator. Dryosaurus's extra long legs make for speed. But one of her offspring lags behind. Now, the only hope is to find cover. Jurassic world, there's something even bigger than Ceratosaurus. The river bottom preserved here at Dinosaur National Monument contains an extraordinary diversity of dinosaurs. There are four kinds of sauropod dinosaurs, three kinds of meat-eating dinosaur, there are two kinds of bipedal plant-eating dinosaurs, and of course there's Stegosaurus, the great plated dinosaur. Now these animals, when we look at their carcasses, we can see they're of the same condition of preservation. This suggests they all died pretty close to the same time. But what brought all these animals here? Most bone beds are of just one species. We believe that this was a location where there was a perennial river flowing through the savanna of the upper Jurassic of Western North America, and it dried up. Animals would come to this place during the dry season where seeps 